Hi and welcome back to HKZ.TV's Cricket Academy, home of the stars, stars and stars. What a wonderful Ramadan, what a wonderful year and a half. It's been 365 days of wonderful cricket, digital cricket, despite the long decade worth of digital cricket. I have Zafar with me today from Bangla Tigers, who are proud owners of a T10 team and wonderful works. The young lad has played on the HKZ platform with some wonderful memories down at Dubai, and today he's here with his team. I'd like to thank all the world and all the wonderful comments and all the media and all the associates that have brought this platform your platform, your platform to this level. Today I'm more formal because I've come straight out of meetings onto the ground so I don't have my cricket gear but I've got Zafar. Zafar, welcome. How are you feeling? You're a very good spin bowler. I know that. I've seen you bowl in our game in Dubai. Give me some of your thoughts and tell me a bit about your cricket. Very good to be here. First of all, the atmosphere is really, very good and Secondly, it's very good to be back to be, uh, it's very good to be here and uh, probably after um, six months of exam, it feels very good to be back at the cricket ground. Very good to be back with HKZ, I remember you played. What do you think about this atmosphere with the review? Well, you know with the T10, but to have it on the amateur level, give me a few of your words on that. First of all, even at the professional level, sometimes there is no review out there. So first of all, it's a great achievement that you've got, you guys have actually bought the review system over here. That's number one. Number two is uh, when you have such clarity, it feels very good to play because you know that everything is neutral and it gives you that boost to do good. And you're absolutely right, because what I've actually seen is that when we used to play, you know, in other tournaments, people always say it's an unfair dismissal. Not in our tournament, generally. But since the camera, like, is live, they can see it, they can see the run out, such close calls, everybody is so happy when they go away. Even when they lose, they're very happy because they know, like you said, it's a very neutral game. Yes. Uh, uh, nowadays, 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 like for an example, when you get such atmosphere, when you get got so many cameras, so it feels very good when you see yourself on the TV. You know where to improve, and you know your areas, and you improve in that way. So it feels very good to be here. The atmosphere is good. You have got cameras, you have got reviews. So overall, it's a very good uh, atmosphere. Tell me a bit about your cricket. What do you do? Uh, basically, I'm. Uh, uh, team coordinator at Bangla Tigers. I manage all the things out there. So I get the players, I get the contracts in. Then I manage the players, I get the players into the hotel and then get, uh, like I'm just probably the guy who works at the background of Bangla Tigers. Probably not much visible, but yes. Yeah, but your father does all the hard work. It's lovely to see the son and the father like my sons and us. We work behind the scenes like a family. An official, let me give an introduction. Zafar has his own Bangla Tigers T10. And we're talking about the official T10 in Abu Dhabi and the international level where you see all the wonderful, fasty places and everybody else with some great names that have come to Dubai and play. So that is amazing because they know the rules, the regs, the anti-corruption. And I think it's absolutely amazing, Zafar, isn't it? Cricket gives you a buzz like a family, doesn't it? Such a big sport. Yes, uh, it gives you that motivation to do work. And moreover to that, uh, it's a kind of entertainment you would obviously like to do. And uh, moreover to that, after exam, there were so many places I could have been to, but I've been here just because I love cricket. And it, it feels great to be part of this. Well, today we're getting international. We're live right now in the toss. Any message to your loved ones? No, I, I don't have... Those loved ones to be, uh, like, I don't have any messages to be sharing with my loved ones because they are already at my home. They're already at the home, so Zafar loves you, but apart from that, he's not going to share any other messages apart from stay tuned and keep watching the good cricket. Well, 21 overs, um, power play, 6 overs, 2 fielders outside of the circle, 21st over is the power play over, each bowler bowls 4, 1 can bowl 5, the 5th over must be the last power play over if you choose to let him bowl the 5th over. Um, apart from that, everything else is normal, no balls, wides, free hits, proper international standard. Yes, uh, that sounds good, thank you. Excellent, so with that, I have a quick word with Gaff. Gaff, um, playing once with you, now playing against you. Wonderful um, series that is about to start, a start of the best of two. Looking forward for many other wonderful tournaments. Everybody likes to see how they are getting on. It's amazing what Zafar has said. Um, give me a few words in your own because it's so honorable to see two of you captains who've played each other amongst, well, with each other and now playing against each other shows the unity 
Indian family of cricket. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Um, yeah, you know, it's great to have Zafar back. Um, we remember him in DP World. We had uh, great memories we made down there. Um, and now we're here, you know, um, as you've said to many, many a times, HKZ are going to bring international teams. Not only did the international team come from Pakistan, but also a current team that's playing in the T10. Um, you know, it's, it's a big step that the boys have made and you have made. So a big congratulations to that. And um, we look to host them as best as possible. Um, we look that they have as much fun as possible. You know, we play in the spirit of the game, like we played all the games, um, every series, every Ramadan tournament. And as long as they're happy, everybody's happy. Oh, wonderfully said. I mean, that there can be no other way to welcome Ramadan, welcome the family, welcome the opposition, integrity. And as Gaff has wonderfully put, you know, we look to make sure they're happy and to host them. There are wonderful words from a mature person and captain, and he's got some wonderful individuals who we've nurtured from our time. And you'll see some good names come up, and you'll see good names from both sides. And that's what it's about. Good cricket. Look, it's about enjoyment. And I've always said, and I repeat it, and I say it in every toss. Win or lose, cricket is the winner. With that, you flip the toy coin. Zafar will call it. Show him the head. That's our Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth the London Premier League head. That's the UAE coin is tells. As soon as it's in the air, Zafar, you call it. Heads is the call by Bangla Tigers. Tell me this. HKZ with the task. What do you want to do? Bowl first. They're going to bowl first. What did you want to do? We want to do bat first. They want to do bat first. And there you go. Bangla Tigers get their choice. Gaff and HKZ stars get their choice. A cracker of a game. Both teams ready to go. Both teams happy. Both teams have technically won the toss. Kath wants to bowl first and is happy to chase. Zafar wanted to bat first. He's got his choice as well. What a wonderful start that both captains leave the crease absolutely happy. And that's what Kath said at the toss. It's about hosting your opposition. It's about humanitarian bases. It's the sport. And through this sport, like His Highness has always said, UAE unites us. And that's what it's about. So a cracker of a game coming up where two of the best teams are going to clash amongst one another. And let's have a cracker on. So stay tuned. www.hkz.tv www.landonpremierleagues.live www.hkzsports.services www.hkzcricketacademy.com So don't go anywhere because we've got a lot of excitement coming up. Stay tuned.
Mr. Abdul Gafar opening the bowling here for the Hizgiza side. Let's see. With Vishnu and Yasser, the opening batsmen here for the Bang for the Bangla Tigers. Yeah, they've got a great like of Sabirio in the dugout. Let's see the first ball coming in as well. Gafar. Ooh, very well bowled. Very well bowled. First ball with a dot ball to start off the HKZ Stars. Here, the Bangla Tigers. Zero of the first ball, the big game here. You can see both teams are on it. You see here, Mr. Ali for the HKZ side. You got a new, new newcomer in as well, Mr. Khalil. You got um, Bangish, you got a deal as well. You got great legs, great bunch of players here, great youngsters. You got Shamu as well. You know, a great team. Mr. Goffard coming in for the second ball of the game. Oh, and that's well bold. The single there. Oh, just a little fumble there for Mr. Salim. But that's just a quick single, though. No worries. You see, new batsman in Yasu Kaleem, the batsman on strike. Now, two faces, first ball. Mr. Goffard with two. With the two dots, I think. And. No, 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 one dot, one single, yep. Let's just see how the Bangla Tigers are going to do. You know, they've got an exceptional team. You know, Zafar as well is a great lad, an absolutely great lad. You know, people like Amjad Khan, Rafiq, a great bunch of lads in the dugout, Ayan Khan as well. Oh, big appeal, big appeal, and he's given out. He's given out. Yasir Kaleem has been given out in the beginning of the game. Oh, and there's no review. Oh, is he going to take the review? Is he going to take the review? I feel like Yasir Kaleem, he doesn't look too confident. The man Yasser Kaleem has gone on his first ball of his innings here. Just unlucky there, Gafar has trapped him and he's walkies. New batsman in Afghanistan is Rafiq. You know, taking a single on his first ball, bringing the man Vishnu back on the strike. Because then Vishnu just one and two. You know, Gafar picking up the big man. Yasir Kaleem 
with the LBW decision was given by the umpire, takes the review. My third umpire sticks to the on-field decision. Let's see. Vishnu needs to take the game long here. He needs to play the full 21. Ooh, that's edged. Two point, and that's Adil Mule. Just collects that for a dot ball. I've got the young, very young, very young, very young, very young Zikra Ramzan here on my right. You know, he is a VIP. Um, Zikra Ramzan, we have <laughs> he made 72 yesterday and 39 balls. Is that true? The 31 balls. No, actually, I got 72 59 balls. Oh, I was dreaming, sorry. 59, but how was it bang out there for 21 overs you buy it? Um, if that was me, I'd have collapsed by the fifth over, but how did you stay in that long? And, you know, you just got to have patience sometimes. And, uh, yeah, and, you know, you just got to bat for as long as you can. So, you know, the big wicket of Mr. Yasir Kaleem is gone, but Abdul Ghaffar did trap him in front. So what do you think is going to go happen here today? I think the bowlers will put the batsman under pressure. You know, it's a very good... Ziggur Ramza. Ramza, we've got the young lad Hader Ali in today. Um, with the second over the game, do you think that is a risk? No, I think he's an amazing bowler than you, but I think, I think he'll get it. I'm from any Ziggur here today. You know Ziggur's medium pace. You know Ziggur hasn't been bowling his full run-up. When you guys see him bowl medium pace, you know you guys haven't seen the full Ziggur Ramza in here. Oh, it looks like Khalil is at long on here. Anasa just mid off. You know, you got a deep. Is that deep square? Yeah, deep square. Mr. Eddie O'Meal. Very good batsman. And a very good bowler. Adil Mule. Yes, Yasser Kaleem was dismissed on the first ball that he faced to Mr. Abdul Ghaffar. And it was his first ball of his whole innings that he faced. I reckon um, it was pretty plum, you know, Ghaffar coming in. He's a very fast bowler. You know, he swings the ball left and right, you know, all over the place. You know, um, actually, Mzigo faced him in one game, but he wasn't actually um, one quick hero. But he actually sent him for five sixes and one over. But Oh, and there's a dive catch on the sidelines. <laughs> Hader Ali coming in with a second over of the game and he's using the new ball here, which is going to be pretty hard. But let's see. He does have a slip in place as well, you know, Farhan. But let's see, you know, the Bangla Tigers do look strong, you know, a deep bang as well. With the batting of, um, with the batting of, you know, Ayan Khan as well, Amjad Khan. But let's just see though. Oh, he plays that towards fine leg, and Ali Raza collects that for a quick single there. You know, he just said fast bowlers do look good. You know, you've got. Oh, Vishnu on strike to the left arm, left hand batsman, left arm bowler. He is bowling. He does, the batsman does have the advantage of the ball turning, spinning into him. Oh, we try. You can see he's going to go aggressive here. Oh, he misfills that and that's four runs. Salim, Salim, you can't be doing that, Salim. Oh, 
Ooh, doesn't turn that, but that's, I think that's going to be gap. No, honest Mustafa. Oh, two boundaries in a row. Both have been misfielded. The luck is not with Hayden. Hey there. Oh, not time to two. That goes to third man. Ali Raza collects that comfortably. Oof. Hey there with a good comeback. After getting hit for the two boundaries, but they both were misfielded. The first one should have definitely not been a boundary. <laughs> Vishnu. Oh, hey there. Hey there, well bold. I think you don't want to be bowling. You know, you need to watch what lines you want to Vishnu because he's looking to hit you over that cow corner and over the ground as well, you know. Let's just see. You know, HG at the fielding stats is looking good, but today just a few misfield. Oh, well done, well done. That's a good comeback by the man, Hedy Rally. And then, and then the Oof! Oh, Abdul Ghaffar to continue. I think Rafiq here is going to go for a big shot. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. But let's see. Oh, down the leg side and Bungus with an amazing take. You know, Bungus is an athletic lad. You know, I was his wicket keeper coach back in the day. You know, Prime Hello, yeah, when he came to England, Prime Hello keeping, I yeah, taught him. Put him yeah, I taught him in South Woodford with helmet, glasses, and everything. But let's see, you know. What's it called? You know, why are you not playing today? Is it true that you, you wanted to allow the other team? Yeah, no, it would have been unfair, you know. What would have been the score if you opened the bowling? Uh, they'd probably be not for six. In the first over, you see. That's how we know Zikra runs. This is a goal, Ed, when it comes to bowling. You guys haven't seen his Mitchell Stark. You guys haven't seen his Anan. Left handed, fast bowling, so. But let's see. Who's that? Oh, Farhan has moved out of the slips, comes into that extra cover region. You know, I think he does want the batsman to drive. Let's see now. Ooh, Abdul Ghaffar is an amazing, amazing gem, you know, with the bat. You know, having a guy like that that can bat and bowl, and he's an exceptional bowler. Here's a big um, help to the get side with a man like that, you know. We got um Seafula Bungus. Ooh Straight to Anas Mustafa, that's good fielding. Two doubles in the over. And one wide. This has been a good over here from Mr. Yeah, Abdul Ghaffar. Oh, I heard um, someone predicting on the sidelines that he's going to be bold. Let's see, though. Oh, big appeal. Big of oh, all Gaffar, you can see. And that is only just going to be a leg by for one. Are they going to take the review? I think Bungus nodded his head, which it will be a no. 
Kaf is asking, but I don't think he's going to be taken. No, no, no. Yep, they ain't going to take that one. <sighs> These guys are looking good here. You know, v Vishnu back on strike. The left armor. Left handed batsman. Mr. Hader Ali comes to the deep square region. Let's see. Oh, Gafard, you beauty. Gafard, you beauty. You know, the way that he bowls. He's just an absolute beauty of a bowler. That was well bowled by Gafar and uh, stopped that mid off by Cav Rams and the skipper. Gafar coming in for the ball. Here he goes. Vishnu short ball. Ooh! Very quick and Vishnu dodges that. Good short ball and that's the over. And it looks like Header's coming on for his second over maybe. Hader Ali coming in for a second over. Here he goes. Big swing and he's caught in the slip. Goes for a big swing, Rafiq. Uh, don't play it. Yeah, as well, ball there by Hader. Rafiq looking to go attacking and um, he edges it straight to the man in the slip. Looked like Farhan. And that's their second wicket goes down for Bangla Tigers.
So our new man, it's another lefty. He joins Vishnu. Had to come again for a second ball. Oh, big swing and a miss. There's two lefties out there. And, you know, it's a big advantage for the lefty batsman because it's going with the spin. So anything that he times will go for six or a boundary. Oh, and he misses another one, the batsman. You know, it's only two balls. Good, good over so far from Heather. I think it's three to go. Oh, and he just hits it into the ground and it rolls to slip. You know, it's a beautiful over so far from Heather. Great bowling right now. And the batsman times that one and straight to mid off. Well fielded there by Khalil, and that's one run. And Vishnu is on strike. And that's well played on the back foot, straight to deep mid wicket for one run. It looks like Bangla Tigers are 15 for two in four overs or 19 for two. Ooh, and almost the edge. And Gafar beats Vishnu. You know, Gafar is an exceptional bowler. It looked like he was almost edged on to the keeper or slip for Han. That is wide ball from Gafar. Gafar, you know, his third over here. They're really bowling him, basically bowling him out here. One Let's see. This oven is good to use by Gafar. My turn, mate. Oh, he's edged him. He's edged him off. And umpire Pradeep giving it.
Ooh, Gafard coming in with a shorter one. You can see Gafard having Vishnu not comfortable out there. He is not making Vishnu feel comfortable out there, you know. With the way that he's batting, with the way that he's bowling, and Vishnu, he's bowling short, full everywhere. Gafard is changing his pace like an international bowler here. You can see he's using his mind here today. He's varying that pace, varying the line. That's what it's about. Let's see, Mr. Abdul Gafard. What's he gonna do here? Oh, let's see. Oh, that just hits his leg. No run. That Khalil picks that one up, and that. Oh. Oh, yes, yeah, just that one. Kafar gets him on the second time. Oh, Calf picks up the wicket. He gets edged off to slip. Wow, wow, wow. Calf picks up the man.
Calf Rams and <laughs> this bowler bowling extremely coming off a wicket made in the last of oh just jumps over the deal. A deal is an amazing fielder, you know, bowling all round uh, bowling all round, you know he's a good batsman. Oh, that just goes run down to find leg. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a big catch by Adil. Oh, and the man, Amjad is gone. And the man Asadullah like, catches it on the boundary. What a good catch. Cavs setting up to two batsmen. Ooh, the man Ali Raza, it's an amazing bowler. Let's see the man Hassan Khalid, the batsman. Let's see how Hassan Khalid can do here against the man Ali. Let's just see Ali Raza. Ooh, well bold. Very well bold. See, here's the field being loud here.
<laughs> Another Yorker there by Ali. Ali has this batsman looking struggling as well. You know, the Yorkers with the short balls. <laughs> Oh, that's a wide. That's a wide. Even Bunga tries to fly for that one, but that just goes for the wide buys. Ali just there. She just an unlucky delivery there. Ali's been bowling a magnificent over here. You can see just containing some runs. Ali Raza. Ooh, that's well bowled. Very well bowled there. Hassan Khalid just giving that leave. Cav runs and bowling here again <coughs> to the man Ayan Khan. Oh, that's well played. No one in that area. No one there. And I think that is going to be four. No. That's three runs. Good running. Good piece of running there. Amazing running. Oh, that was given a no ball. Three hit for the batsman. Three hit. The man has to call it on strike. Cat rounds on two, Hassan Khalid. Oh, that's going to be four. And that's four runs, that's just gapped. No one in that cow corner area. Calf rounds on. Ooh, well bowled. Very well bowled. Oh, amazing piece of bowling there. Kafram just keeping his line a little simple there. That's what it's about. Oh, that's just blocked. He's trying to get the extra single there. You can see, I think <clears throat> the Bangla Tigers have got some pressure here after the top five really getting out there. You know, I think Ayan. With an amazing performance in the World Cup here, he needs to do one of those innings. He needs to prove one of those ones here. With the other man, Hassan Khalid on the side. Oof. 
Fuzz and Carl is not hitting that at all. That's an amazing ball there by Cav. Very well bowled. Cav Ramzan. Oh, not time, not time. Straight to the man inside the circle, Shamil. Oh, how many balls to go here in the over as well? Let's just see. That was a good shot, though. Well picked up by Hassan Khalid. And the Yamil coming in to the attack for the Hades Gazette side to bowl. Let's see. Adil Mio, new bowler into the attack, let's see. Oh, he's edged it. And they've got the big man, Ayan Khan.
Oh, that was an hour wicket there by Adil, picking up the man, Hassan Khalid there, having the two batsmen in. Oh, he's bowled him. Hey, that has bowled him. Hater. Oh, that's a wide. Yeah, that's a wide ball there. Bit of too much turn. Header early bowling magnificently well here. Oh, he's bowled him. He's bowled him. The Bangla Tigers have been 43 all out here today. Wow, wow, wow.